Welcome back everyone, so in this video we'll take a look at future proofing your database so that you're prepared for changes, something that's inevitable. This video shouldn't be too hard to follow and should help you a lot in the long run. The very first thing you should do is give your database a spec version. This includes a major version which will only change if you switch to a new database as the entire API would be backwards incompatible. Your database clients can slowly migrate over to the new version and you'll probably need a migration service to map updates from one version to the next. This spec version should also include a feature list. So each table in your database is considered a feature, or if you're using Firebase, then each collection is considered a feature, etc., depending on your database. When your database clients are using a feature, they can check if it is supported by the database, and we will get to how this is done at the end of the video. This is crucial when your database removes a deprecated feature in place of a newer one, uh, because your client isn't going to stop functioning at a random point with a confusing error and break the whole system. Instead, the client will simply fail to start up when the feature checks fail. Of course, we do want to avoid or at least delay breaking changes whenever possible. We can do this by also giving each table their own spec version. This again includes a major version which will only change if you're starting over with the feature, but typically you'll make incremental changes. Include this version in the table name. We also give each table a feature list, so each column in your table is considered a feature and each column has its own major spec version included in its name too. If we now need to make changes to the format or structure of a table, we can add a new column with a unique version. For example, we may have an email version 1 column which simply holds the username section of the email and it is assumed that the end of the email is at gmail.com. But now we need to support other email providers so we create an email version 2 column which holds the full email address. We can then create a migration service which maps version 1 to version 2 and we can eventually remove version 1 once all the code is updated. So how do we add database feature checks? We can simply create a features table or collection in your database which holds all the features along with a list of supported sub-features. The root feature should be something such as your database version. As you can see the root feature database version 3 has 3 sub-features uh, which are each different tables in the database. Then each table in the database has a row with that table name and then all its sub-features which are all the columns. We can also add a deprecated features table to add a warning to any of the code that's using a deprecated feature. So to summarize, your database should have a major version and feature list where each table is a feature. Each table should also have a major version and feature list where each column is a feature. Finally, each column has a major version. A features table can be used to store features and version information, allowing database clients to perform feature checks. A deprecated features table can be added, allowing database clients to receive warnings when deprecated features are in use. Migration services can be deployed to map changes from one version to another, either for the entire database, a table, or just a single column in a table. So that's going to be it for this video, if you enjoyed and if you learned something please leave a like on the video and leave a comment if you have any feedback and I will see you all in the next video.